Welcome back to HodgePodge. In this tutorial, we will be using the simulation features in Fusion 360 to analyze stress points and loads on our model. If you are unsure of how to access Fusion 360's in-program tutorials, please follow the provided link. We will start in the simulation workspace. Switch to the simulation workspace by going to the workspace drop-down menu. In the top ribbon menu, select Study in the Studies window. Select Modal Frequencies and click OK. Now select Structural Constraint from the top ribbon menu. Select the interface of the brake rotor hub and be sure that you have the X, Y, and Z axes selected. Click OK and then click Solve from the top ribbon menu. It will take a minute or two to solve the simulation. The rotor hub will warp slightly. Move the arrowheads on your legend up and down to separate the minimum and maximum thresholds. The gear icon or the settings will allow you to make more changes to your threshold legend. You may change the size and width of your legend. Change the threshold illustration to banded. You may also shade and unshade your model. At the top of your legend, you may also choose to see the displacement over the X, Y, or Z axes. Below this drop-down menu, you may test your rotor hub at eight different vibration frequencies. The rotor will flex differently for each selection. This has been a presentation of the ninth in-program tutorial Fusion 360 has to offer. Please visit the following links to view the next and previous tutorials in this series. 3D printing in Fusion 360 and static stress simulation in Fusion 360. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.